in Milan. <laughs> but I'm sure you know already by my bed that I am in Jakarta, right? You know already by now. But I am wearing this jacket because the air condition is on. The whole day it's been raining cats and dogs with thunders and lightnings. So being in the air conditioned room, it does feel a little bit cold. So I put on this Indonesian batik jacket that you can wear on this side or this side. I put on the black side and it even has a hood. Not bad, huh? So anyway, how are you? Um, yes, I am in bed. It's almost midnight. I'm supposed to already post my video on Sunday but uh, a little bit too late but hey you know in America it's not too late right or in Europe because even though I'm supposed to del deliver this Sunday let's consider it the European Sunday and not Indonesian Sunday because in half an hour it's already Monday here so anyway I hope you enjoying your Sunday wherever you are and um, yes today uh, I stayed home, my housekeeper was off, but my cat, cat kept me company all day, you know? So that was nice and um, most of the time I just stayed in, the, in my bedroom, not in the house uh, where the living room is. But I was in the kitchen also for a while and um, yeah, that was it. I'm here now in bed again. So anyway, my um, topic today is why it's good for you to go out of your comfort zone. I can only speak for myself based on my experience, all right? Given the fact that I have lived in various countries, in many countries such as England, America, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, South Korea, uh, Saudi Arabia and England again and Russia so uh, for those who are you know reluctant to go out of your comfort zone or to travel a little bit and live somewhere else all right, if that's your choice, then be it. But for those who like to explore or to have to experience some adventures, why not? Because, you know, for example, with me, yes, I must uh, say, first of all, I never planned. It wasn't my agenda to travel all over the world or to live in many countries in the world. It wasn't at all. They just materialized, you know, by nature. So, so I can't ask you to do what you don't feel like doing, but I'm just sharing what I have come to realize that now that I'm one year in Jakarta, I feel like traveling again, or at least to go and visit Italy this time before I used to go back to Italy now this is the first time to visit Italy for a change and I would love to do that but at the moment I cannot permit myself to do that so but that is the price you pay when you are well traveled or when you have been accustomed to living in different countries all your life um, I get restless <laughs> my feet get itchy again you know to want to live in another country or another new environment so anyway uh, because in my humble opinion that when you travel and stay for one week or for three days here and there it's not the same as when you live in that country why because in that country once you live in it you capture the essence of their culture and uh, their custom and their mentality and uh, even their language and I think that is the most enriching experience one could have uh, as opposed to visit only three four days and then 
that's it. Uh, I've been so lucky to have been given the opportunities to live in all these countries. Therefore, I, 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 I could uh, comfortably say that from the popular beliefs that we all know when you, we don't live in the country, uh, that image that is created in the world, for example, like Italy, the Italians are this, or Russian are this, or uh, Ara Arabs this, are not uh, exactly accurate until you live in their country and moreover until you speak their language because then you can capture the quirkiness of the country, of the people and then you get to know their true mentality or their true perception of how they see things which you will be surprised to know that they don't see exactly as how you have perceived prior to visiting or to living in their country because you only got to know the the image or the popular belief from outside and not from the people itself for example Italians in Italy are different from Italians in America. Both have their pluses and minuses. That's all I can say. You know, there are good things about the Italians Americans. There are good things about the Italians Italy. But Italians Italy and Italians America, they don't exactly get along, I must say. <laughs> it's completely different. Um, approach to life you know yes the food yes the the warmth and the you know and the way of speaking but they're not the same they're not the same you know Italians from Italy and Italians in America for example so that's one and then the image that we know maybe about the Arabs the Arabs when we lived in Arab in Saudi Arabia, the people, especially the men, because we they couldn't get to know the women since the women are not free there, at least at the time when we lived there. But the men were friendly, were kind, and were generous. And that's what we got to know in uh, Saudi Arabia. In Russia, once you break the ice with the people, they are very friendly. I'm even I'm even surprised to find out or to realize that the women can be like Indonesian women as well. Very feminine, okay, but cold, you know, cold. Uh, maybe not too much humor. Uh, the sense of humor is a bit off, but um, very, very friendly, very, very. Also the men, because I can... Tell you a story when I went to the supermarket in uh, uh, Viborg. My husband was at the office, and I had to go and buy some water. And somehow, instinctively, in the supermarket, this Russian man could understand that I was looking for water. So he came over to me and asked me in Russian, and I tried to say in English by just using uh, gesticulation, and he understood it was water that I was looking for. So he ushered me and you know accompanied me to go and get the water uh you know in in the in the in the department of that supermarket so uh, that was a great help that's one second when we were in st petersburg my husband doesn't like to take photos uh, so he's not familiar with taking uh, with uh, using camera you know he would just you know ignore because he couldn't be bothered learning where to click and how to focus and all that. So I had a bit of uh, problem with that. And this uh, Russian man passing by again instinctively understood that I was having difficulty with the, with the, with the 
a camera and then he came to me and he said may I help you uh, I said oh yes please because you know I would like to take a photo in front of this building okay don't worry I'll take it for you even though my husband was over there so he took a photo of me alone you know without my husband so that was funny so there was a sense of connection you know some kind of connection with the Russian people with me and some kind of connection uh, you know with 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 the what do you call that yeah that's it with with, with these Russian people and also because when we were living in Pattaya Thailand and Bangkok the Russian girlfriend of my husband's colleague who is Italian um, left his wife in Italy uh, to work in Thailand and he brought his Russian girlfriend and this Russian girlfriend became my best friend during my stay in Thailand with my husband so and and, and you know we got along very well even though she was much younger than me but we got along so well you know in, in going to eat together you know going shopping together or going in the evening with our men together it was really really nice so that was great so you know if you if you like to know other people's culture or other people's uh, you know um, what we call uh, mentality that you think you can get along you know by all means just do it and i noticed the progress i see in indonesia that a lot of indonesian men now married to uh, you know western women hey kudos to you you know kudos to you because it's so nice to see the the progress that i never saw before when i was living here many many years ago so that is one another one is that uh, you know uh, how to say um, one thing about Jakarta, you know, the, the cinemas here, they, they, they are in English language. So it's so much fun to live here for me when it comes to that. Even though I don't go to the cinema, but I go to the cinema with my girlfriend. Um, now like a, like a ritual. Whenever she's not free or she's in town because she travels a lot also and she's so busy. But... I love that about Indonesia, so I'm comfortable here, I'm happy here, even though there are things that I miss in Italy, but now I'm starting to feel much at home here, really. But you never know, you know, you never know, because I'm so used to moving around, uh, you know, living in another different environment altogether, you know, change completely. So let's see now that one year I'm here, uh, you know, I'm getting itchy feet again. So anyway, uh, for those who like to move, uh, to, 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 to stay in your comfort zone, then uh, of course that's your prerogative. But otherwise, it's just fun because to me that when you go and visit a country for three, four days or a week, it's not the same than when you live in that country and get to know the local people and how what ticks them, you know, what ticks their, 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 their way of perceiving things. And that I find very, very interesting. So that's it because before I am again, because there's so much to tell, you know, so many stories to share. I better stop now because it's midnight and uh, uh, at least, you know, I'm seeing you all again this Sunday and I hope to be seeing you on my next video if there's any question if there's something specific that you would like me to share with you please let me know below in the comment and please uh, click that button sub subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet if you have thank you so much for your time to spend with me three times a week now starting 2019 and this is the second week and this is the sixth video I have delivered to you all my subscribers as few as you are but we have we all have to start from the bottom right or at the bottom right so please you have a good week ahead and I'm I hope to see you next Wednesday again okay ciao ciao Thank <music> you.